Thank you for choosing the SNL Fan Podcast, and I'm your host, just some guy named Jay. And in this installment of the SNL Fan Podcast, basically what I want to do is do something a little different. Um, each time the ca- each time the host and the musical guest is announced for future episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch my own skit, and uh, I'm going to do that for each episode. I'm going to try to p- upload it before I do the review. So you know, because I don't want to pitch anything, I don't want to pitch it after the review because that way you know i I mean it'll kind of you know my idea might get scrambled or whatever uh i'll get lost in the uh you know of of what they actually did on the show you know what i'm saying so um so that's basically what i'm gonna do is gonna be a new thing what i'm gonna do uh you know to spice up this fan podcast and uh because you know like what they do is uh, on tuesday i heard on tuesday what they do is sit in a circle in lauren's office and they pitch the writers and the cast they pitch ideas one by one to the host and the and Lauren Michaels and then you know they pick things so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pretend like I'm in the pitch meeting (laughs) you know I'm gonna pretend like I'm a writer or a cast member and I'm gonna pitch something you know uh but before I start with my pitch for the Tina Fey Arcade Fire episode I just want to give a shout out I want to give a shout out to ACM Records ACM Records is a large independent record label uh that has hundreds of artists from all genres of music they have uh salsa R&B, rap, rock, industrial metal, punk, all kind of artists, you know, from all walks of life, you know, even international artists, you know, international music, uh, and, and, and just all kind of things going on, you know, and, um, and uh, you know, I just want to give a shout out to ACM Records, and also ACM Records is also looking for individuals to join their street team. And I'm going to put the link in the information box below. So if you're interested in joining their street team, you can fill out the form and uh, email it back to them. And uh, it's a great way, you know, to get yourself in the music industry, you know, behind the scenes and kind of work, you know, it, you know, work the angles that way and kind of meet connects and things like that. So, uh, so I definitely uh, recommend you join the ACM Records Street Team. Um, and uh, that's all I like to say for ACM Records. Just definitely check out the links in the information box below. And uh, on to my pitch. Okay, for this pitch, this is the idea of a skit that I have. You know how Kanye West recently did that interview on BBC? Uh, radio, whatever, BCC, BB, you know, the, the, that London thing, uh, <laughs> pardon my lack of, uh, culture when it comes to, uh, things outside of the U.S., but, um, you know, uh, how, and how everyone on YouTube and, and Jimmy Kimmel was making fun of it and everybody on, uh, on the web and on Twitter is like, wow, either Kanye West is a genius or he's really crazy, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people were saying things about Kanye West, uh, his interview, um, I have some things I want to say about Kanye West's interview myself, but I kind of want to not talk about that, really. You know, I just want to, uh, you know, it was it was a great interview, um, you know. I mean, I would say it's an entertaining interview, you know. Um, it was good to hear his, uh, you know, his perspective on things, you know. And, uh, and especially, uh, he's very passionate about fashion, too. Uh, you know, I, I didn't know he was that passionate when it came to fashion, you know. Um yeah, his, his, you know, but I'd rather hear about the, uh, well, never mind that. Let me get on to the pitch. Okay, here's the idea. <laughs> okay. You know how Tina Fey, I mean, excuse me, not Tina Fey, Sarah Palin is, <laughs> oh my God, I call Sarah Palin Tina Fey. Dang, just like I called, just like I called Jonah Hill Seth Rogen a while back. Dang, I'm already messing up, messing up. Uh, anyway, okay. You know how uh, uh, Sarah Palin uh, you know, did all those interviews and said uh, a, l- a lot of, you know, things that made the audience go, what? Hmm. I don't know about Sarah Palin. Uh, and, and we you know, I know a lot of y'all don't want to see Tina Fey do Sarah Palin for the, again. And, you know, but, uh, especially since she's not in the news like that anymore. Um, you know, and, and we want to see the other things Tina can do besides doing Sarah Palin over and over and over again. You know, but I just think this is a great way to... Uh, to do this, you know, and, and and I was thinking, Tina Fey could play Sarah Sil, uh, excuse me, Sarah Palin. <laughs> thinking about the Jimmy Kimmel Kanye b- beef, where Kanye said that Sarah Silverman is funnier than Jimmy Kimmel. But let me get back. Let me get the focus. Let me focus. Uh, Tina Fey can play Sarah Palin. Jay Farrow can play Kanye West, and they interview each other. And and they just make the interview just just say the most outrageous things they could say, you know, like uh, Sarah say, Sarah Sarah Palin asks Kanye a question, and Kanye gives like an over the top 
like very ex like very detailed explanation a passionate explanation as, as you know for the answer and then Kanye asks Sarah Palin a question and Sarah Palin just says something that's just so stupid that's just beyond stupid and you know and they just kind of go back and forth kind of like an iconoclast kind of thing I don't even, does that show even come on still the iconoclast thing um or, or some kind of some kind of one on one interview where they where they do that where where and they just and the, and the writers just try to you know how they used to do with Stefan where they used to just uh just say that see if they could say the most outrageous things in in each line I was thinking maybe they could do that like to just make each line like something outrageous just get just get just get crazy with it you know and I think it'd be a good opportunity to, to just say some crazy things and just have them both you know see who can out crazy each other you're not saying that they're crazy but you know just you know, you know who can give the most over the top, uh, wild interview. <laughs> you know, like you know, you know. That, I th- and I know Kanye West would be mad if if they did that because uh, you know Kanye West he doesn't seem to know how to take a joke. Uh, and uh, Sarah pa- Sarah Palin seems to not really Sarah pa- Palin seems to be amused at these things. You know, when they call her stupid and 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 and, and say wow and her answers, he kind of just kind of shrugs it off. You know. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be a great idea for a skit where Tina Fey could play Sarah Palin interviewing Jay Farrow as Kanye West, and then they just go back and forth, like they just go back and forth for questions, you know, like they're just interviewing each other, you know, and they just get crazy <laughs> with the answers, you know. I didn't think that for a sketch idea. All right, well that's all I like to say about that. Um, I'm a, I'm going to be doing this throughout the season. Each episode, I'm just going to pitch an idea. Rather it's funny or not, I'm just going to just do it, just to do it. And, uh, you know, and also check out ACM Records. Check out the links in the information box below. And uh, if you're interested in joining the street team, also do that as well. Uh, That's all I'd like to say. I'm just some guy named Jay. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.